Happy Thursday, everybody. A big day here in North Carolina. That's right. Early voting kicking off today with just 19 days until Election Day. Both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump are focusing on their bases as well as swing voters. During a town hall with Fox News last night, Trump tried appealing to women voters. As for Vice President Harris, she's taking a different approach, reaching across the aisle to Republican voters in Pennsylvania. And as early voting gets underway here in North Carolina, candidates in the Tar Heel State are in crunch time this morning as the clock ticks down to November 5th. In a WCNC Charlotte exclusive, we spoke with Republican nominee for Governor Mark Robinson. He's now suing CNN for defamation for a report accusing him of posting racist comments on a pornographic website more than 10 years ago. But his lawsuit doesn't really provide much evidence. So we asked him why he's not releasing that information he claims will clear his name. You are less than three weeks away from the election and you're behind in the polls. Wouldn't you want voters to know the information if it clears your name? Well, the... Getting people to know, get that information out in a, in a way that is effective for me uh, is going to take some time. And uh, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I believe that's why this attack happened. It happened to stop me from campaigning. It happened to force me out of this race. You can catch that full interview with Robinson on WCNC's Flashpoint Sunday at 11 a.m. or on WCNC+. Plus. Happening today, former President Bill Clinton and vice presidential candidate Tim Walls will be in North Carolina for the first day of early voting. They're holding a rally in Durham to drum up support for Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris. Then Walls will head to Winston-Salem for another rally. Today marks his third visit to North Carolina since becoming Harris's running mate. And speaking of early voting, former President Jimmy Carter officially fulfilled his birthday wish and cast his vote in the 2024 presidential election. Officials from the Carter Center say he voted by mail yesterday in Georgia. Carter's grandson says the former president, who just turned 100, intended to vote for Kamala Harris. Well, early voting, as we've said, kicks off today. And as many start filling out those ballots, you will see a question on whether to add a citizens-only voting amendment. But what does that really mean? WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg digging into the facts. Today's verified. Well, voters in North Carolina will see this constitutional amendment on their ballot. It reads constitutional amendment to provide that only a citizen of the United States who is 18 years of age and otherwise possesses the qualifications for voting shall be entitled to vote at any election in this state. So you can vote for or against it, but some people are confused about this amendment asking us to clarify. So to verify, we went to the U.S. Constitution, the North Carolina Constitution, the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, and Mecklenburg County Elections Director Michael Dickerson. First, it's already illegal for non-citizens to vote in federal and state elections. Currently in North Carolina law and in federal law, only U.S. citizens are permitted to vote. Non-U.S. citizens are not permitted to vote in our elections. The 14th Amendment of the United States requires people to be born or naturalized in the United States in order to vote. The current North Carolina Constitution states every person born in the United States and every person who has been naturalized and is 18 years of age as long as they meet the qualifications can vote. According to the U.S. Citizen and Immigration Service, a naturalized citizen is someone who moved here and became a citizen. The amendment, if approved by voters, would take out the word naturalized. But those who are naturalized are already citizens, so they would still be able to vote. But there are concerns from some groups that it could cause confusion. But for now, we wanted to make it clear that yes, right now it is illegal if you are not a citizen of the United States to vote. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg. And if you have something you would like verified, just email us at verify at WCNC.com. And a reminder on election night, we will have nonstop coverage on our streaming app, WCNC Plus, starting at 7 p.m. Our team is going to break down the results in real time as they come in and have experts weighing in. You can download the WCNC Plus app in your preferred streaming device. But a reminder, if you're watching us live right now, early voting gets underway in less than 30 minutes here in North Carolina. We'll see you back here tomorrow.